Hello everyone, and welcome to my next, my newest Let's Play. Uh, Sherlock Holmes Crimes and Punishments, or Crimes and Punishments Sherlock Holmes. I've been watching uh, Pike play through uh, Sherlock Holmes The Awakened, uh, which for those of you who don't know is kind of Sherlock Holmes versus Cthulhu. And it is a game uh, so seeped into the Cthulhu mythos that its goal is to drive the player mad. If you don't believe me, go and watch his Let's Play and know what real suffering is. I thought I'd play a slightly more straight version of Sherlock Holmes here in Crimes and Punishments and just kind of work through the various cases because I think this is kind of more along the lines of my C kind of uh, CSI the CSI games where there's one there are several cases I'm not sure if there's a connection or not I've played only a couple of minutes of a new game of an, of uh, a game which is why we've got to continue in cases just to see how it works see what was the best recording software to use um, but I think um, Yes. So, I, I will tell you when I've finished... Essentially, I've done nothing in the game. Walked around a bit. And that's it, really. Um, anything else I need to say? Uh, yes, uh, check out Pike. This is new Let's Play. Bl mostly blind. Well, pretty much completely blind. Yes, I think that's it, really. Um, I'm not entirely sure what the mechanisms are for the whole thing. Though, I do like... Though, apparently, though, what I saw was... There's like a... Um, a uh, wardrobe disguise kind of mechanism, which should be quite interesting. Let's go with a new game, shall we? Oh, you sure want to start a new game? All your progress will be lost. Yes, let's go. What? <laughs> what is this? This music definitely makes me think of Vict uh, late Victorian London gentlemen detectives. <sighs> this doesn't fit at all. Uh, that was better. <laughs> right. The fate of Black Peter. Character portrait. Oh dear. Uh, deduction space icon. Indicates some of your clues can form an important deduction. And improve your progress in the investigation. Right. Uh, let's start, shall we? Continue. Fyodor Dostoevsky. Crime and Punishment. Some Hole in the Mountain King, I think. I'm gonna shoot again. Right, let's go now. Okay, this is this is weird. This is weird behaviour even by home standards. Why is he what is he doing? Oh, shooting a gun blindfolded, which is insane. Maybe going to New Orleans was a sign of something. Stop, Holmes! Is that you, Watson? Yes, of course it is. And you almost killed me. Nonsense. I was aiming for the vases. Blindfolded? Why? Watson, quiet, please. I'm trying to concentrate. Lestrade. 
What is it this time? They can see me. Well, here it is, and it's a good one, Mr. Holmes. A gentleman by the name of Peter Carey, also known as Black Peter, has been murdered. Why is he black? Fellow, most probably. What happened here? Oh, Mr. Holmes, how could you? It's the only exercise I've had all week. A grateful client from Limoges sent me a vase collection this morning. I couldn't think of a better use for it. How about selling them? You're out of your mind. I concur. I missed four out of ten. Given you were blindfolded, that was very good. Don't encourage him, Lestrade. Lestrade. Am I the only sane one here? I'm here too. I suppose that Watson Probably right, then, Inspector. yes. A little brain work would be preferable now. Do please tell us more about Black Peter. Peter Carey, born in 1845 and 50 years old. An ambitious sort, he achieved much success in seal and whale hunting around Scandinavia. Retired in 1884 with a small fortune. He invested his money in a property called Woodman's Lee, near Forest Row in Sussex. It was where he lived for six years, and where he was found dead yesterday. Has the investigation already begun? Well, if it was yesterday, I'd hope so. Yes and no. In fact, this crime is so mysterious that I would prefer you to join me down there. Give me half an hour to prepare. Instead. No, don't we just... Take your time and join me there. Uh. I have to go through the yard first. The many men struck again. What have they done this time? Who are they? They robbed a powder reserve. I'll meet you at Woodman's Lee, Mr. Holmes. I should help Mrs. Hudson here. I also have several appointments that I must keep this afternoon. I shall go alone then. I think Mrs. Hudson looked a little like... Oh, I don't even know the actress name, but uh, the... I'll, I'll talk to them. I will. But I think she looked. She reminded me a little bit of the um, the Mrs. Hudson from the uh, Jeremy Brett series. Oh, what a mess! What a terrible mess! A little bit. I don't know. Right. Tasks: Investigate the murder of Peter Carey. Inspect the crime scene at Woodman's Lee. So we'll have to head there. Select a suit to wear using your personal wardrobe, and join Lestrade at Woodman's Lee. We can head there. Evidence, Peter Carey, also known as Black Peter, born in 1845, 50 years old. He achieved great success in whale hunting in Scandinavia. Retired in 1884, eventually moving to Woodman's Lee. So he retired when he was... So it's 50 and it's in 95, so he'd be 39 when he retired. No, nope. Some random bits of conversation. It does seem rather pointless to have the kind of shooting thing. I did like the blindfolded... Lestrade bet where he's like, aha, I can work out it too. You go along to Peter Carey's house. Mrs. Hudson and I will take care of the mess you've made here. Guessing that's Miss Arena Adler. Let's have a little perusal. Ooh, telescope. What are we, what are we looking at? Why? Why, Holmes? <laughs> Why, what are you... Ugh. Various connections for cases, possibly. Analysis table. Ooh. My analysis table. It is useful for my work. I'm sure it is. So this is like where he does all this like chemistry experiments and stuff. One assumes. Uh, yes, the shot, the shooting into the wall. I believe that was a thing. I didn't have his tobacco somewhere. A ah, Persian slipper, wasn't it? Newspapers. Why do we have newspapers? My archive. I can always consult with it if needed. That's going to be relevant. Letters. This is where I keep my post. We can do research. My archive. Ah, okay. Always consult with it if needed. Right. Why did you shoot the vases? Completely pointless. If you didn't want them, you could have donated them to a museum or something. Doesn't seem to be any kind of Persian slipper. Oh well. The violin. Ooh, 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 is there a pipe somewhere? Maybe not. Maybe it's in our room. Toby! Yay! I wonder if we get to use him. Toby, of course, being the dog. Uh, I think only I think only really used in Sign of Four. Though I might be wrong. I think this is our. Oh no, that's Watson's room. Of course, that's where Watson came out of. Of course, this is our room. Oh, encyclopedias. Is this more? My archive. Right. I can always consult with it. If needed, yes. Right. So makeup table. We can make ourselves to look slightly different with disguises. I'm guessing. Is that a bust of ourselves? Had narcissistic, but it may not be. Hmm. Wardrobe. 
So we have to wear a suit. We have something locked. Sailor outfit. I'm guessing that's going to be part of a disguise. A button suit. Terrible casual suit. I don't really. We don't really want a casual suit. Something professional. Anything particularly good? Why do we have so many suits? Bandit outfit. Farmer outfit. Morning gown. I think we'll go with the black suit. I think. Can we choose our hats? Can we? You know, we're going out. We should wear a hat. Can I? Can I put a hat on? Ah. No, I don't want frizzy hair. I want a hat. No, a hat. We're going out. We should wear a hat. There we go. No. No. We're not going to the country. Oh, actually, no. Hmm, maybe not, actually, because that's slightly more city it would be for the, tap, for the top hat. No. We want to we wanna be going... I think we'll just go without the hat, actually. Although I would have a preference to wear a top hat. I think that's predominantly more if we were going somewhere in the city, which I don't think we are. It's slightly more country-ish, from what I recall. Hmm. I prefer taking the coat, but uh, to Woodman's Lee. And here we can read the casebook while the game is loading. So, okay, we've got to investigate the crime scene. What we know about him, he's 50 years old. Great success with whale hunting in Scandinavia. Yes, I know, I've just done this. Uh, retired in 1884, so he's about 39. Eventually moved to Woodman's Lee. And that's this is all we know, isn't it? Hmm. He... right. Yeah, it's just to repeat the same thing. Near Forest Road, Sussex. He lived there for six years. So... We're in 95, so that's 89. So he was retired for five years. Be, it might be interesting to know where he was during those five years. Right, onwards. I think we're about... I think we've pretty much arrived. We're just checking a barcase and it's... Well, the game's loaded. And here we are. Mr. Holmes, I'm over here. Come on. Every, I, I feel bad for not wearing a hat now. Probably should have picked a hat. Right, let's not walk in the gut. Set your attention to... What on earth is this? Is that like... Some... I don't know. I don't wanna... He's investigating something. Let's investigate this thing. Footprints! No, no, no. Bad, Holmes. You're not meant to walk on... Don't walk on the footprints, Holmes. How do I... How do I... How do I? Maybe I have to. Maybe I have to actually. No, land around stone pathway. Yes, that's what I want. Not interact with this. How do I interact with this? Preferably not by walking on the foot on the footprints, Holmes. You should know better than that. How do I? How do I interact with things like this? Okay, so we've done that. Can I zoom? Can I? No. Ha. Huh. You see, I actually managed to do this just by clicking, I think, when I first played. Right. It garden. That the garden was well maintained. Okay, well maintained. So, yeah, capable gardener works here. So it could be, I mean, he's quite wealthy. So it could be that he hires one. Or it could be that he and assumably Mrs. Carey up there. Uh, yes, because she's sitting down and she's rather smartly dressed. I'd assume she's not a servant. So I assume that's Mrs. Carey. Also, I know because I've played this bit. Right, can I interact with it if I do this? Right, land around stone pathway. Footprints. Yes, can I interact with the footprints? I hope I don't have to do that every single time. These footprints appear to be quite large. Right, so large shoed. I, I want to keep looking at them. Large shoed. Need some kind of evidence. So probably need to check the foot. And obviously nailed. 
but that might be pissed. appear to be quite large. Quite large. I'm guessing. Do we have a tape? Can we use a tape measure? Right. Footprints. The there are unidentified footprints left recent on a patch of wet earth at Woodman's Lee. They may have been left by the murderer. Perhaps I could find a pair of boots that match them. Or you could use a tape measure and measure them and try and find out the uh, the shoe size. You could, because he's done it, done this in other ones. You could work out from the size of the shoe and the side of the size of the stride, um, the si the height of the man. He he's done that in views. I should have worn a hat. Should have worn my top hat. Again, we know. Yes, we can uh, we can examine the garden again, and it'll be like, yes, this is very nice. Can I? Ooh, flies. Can I investigate this little channel? Okay. Right, back. There's a possibility that, or it could be, yes, the gardener could be employed, or could well be uh, Peter Carey and Mrs. Carey. I don't want to talk there. Now, the washing presumes uh, very, shows very little in terms of clothing, or the so it's possible that there may only be the two of them living here. So it's not a living gardener. When will you remove my husband's body? It's sacrilegious to leave him here like this. As soon as we can, Mrs. Carey, I assure you. Allow me to introduce you to Mr. Sherlock Holmes. He's a detective. No doubt you've heard of him. I'll wait for you in front of the cabin, Mr. Holmes. My condolences, Mrs. Carey. Thank you, Mr. Holmes. Right, so she said it was except religious, so she's religious. We, we know that. This is a little interesting thing. So if I click this, we kind of do a quick kind of examination of her. We click on things. A cameo. So, I mean, well, we know that Peter Gary was fairly rich. I'm not sure that I'm not sure who that's of. It's a slight problem. Uh, she has a rosary, the crucifix. Uh, and it's Catholic. You can sell that because the, because it's got someone on. It's got a, it's got Jesus on the cross. So you're religious. Um, some kind of gloves. The fact that they're out here. Assume some kind of gardening gloves. So that takes us to the idea that she does some gardening. Uh, so I would lean towards the idea that uh, she and and Peter Carey. Um, do the gardening, gardening gloves. Um, some kind of mark, oh, a mark on the book of a bird. Um, assumably this is the fact that it's knotted might mean it's an important book to her. So I don't know what that's got to do with anything. And a birdhouse. So she she likes birds. Okay. Um, is there a gardener? I don't think so, but we'll still ask just in case we're wrong. The garden is very large and well maintained. Do you employ someone to look after it? It is true. Well, there is a lot of work, but my husband took care of it himself. Oh, by the way, I forgot to say, but that kind of scan round, that was that's it. That's all my knowledge of the game. So this and that question, uh no idea what we're, pff, this is when we start blind. Right. Um when was the body found? I'm guessing that makes sense to ask that one first. Do you remember at what time you found your husband's body? In the morning, at around seven o'clock. I noticed the cabin door was open, but I didn't go in to take a look, for I knew my husband would not have liked it. Oh? At around ten o'clock, I dared to glance in through the door and open it. Okay, so possibly dead in the evening, probably killed in the night, doors left ajar. Um, possibly he could have been in there at 7 between 7 and 10 and been killed so doesn't give us a huge amount of information uh, 